Hi, everybody. I wanted to make this video for my fellow accounting professionals that have gotten this new version of QuickBooks Online, uh, this new updated UI, and they're a little bit frustrated because they can't find some of the menu items that they're used to seeing uh, in the old menu system. Now, the first major change when an accountant logs into a new QuickBooks Online account that has this new UI is that they no longer see the Intuit or QuickBooks Accountant logo here on the left-hand side. They do see a QuickBooks in, uh, into a QuickBooks logo, but if you click on that, it will send you back to your firm. And most uh, people's firms have, haven't updated the interface for the new look. So the, the firm itself has the old interface, but when you switch to the particular company file that has the new interface, everything changes. So that's like kind, of, kind of the major first thing that, that, that shocks accounting professionals when they first uh, uh, go into this mode, the U new UI. Another thing accountants do a lot is they'll click on the gear menu and they'll click here, it says switch your client back to the previous version of QuickBooks Experience. Then they click on switch and basically switches the entire experience to the old look or the classic view. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I love this classic view and this is the menu that most accounting professionals are used to seeing, including this accountant tools menu that contains all these buttons here that accounting professionals are used to uh, looking at. And also, um, and also the ability to collapse and expand that menu. Now, again, I can click on the gear menu and switch back to the new experience. And I'm going to recommend uh, to the accounting pros watching this video to get used to the new experience because I believe coming October, everybody's gonna be in this experience and you won't be able to switch back. There are two main indicators that sort of remind you that you're logged in as an accountant. One is you're gonna see the little carrot here, the little arrow pointing down, allowing you to do your client switching. So you can switch uh, through your clients through there. And of course, there's the, the back to practice button. And secondly, there's this little icon called My Menu. Now you won't see my menu, or at least I haven't seen my menu for non-accountants. So that seems to be uh, something that only shows up when a person that's assigned as an accountant to an account, it's logged into that account. Now that my menu is kind of a game changer. It, it kind of does uh, improve and, and take away all the stress that people had around the new version of this new interface change. So I'm gonna click on my menu and I cleared everything that's in there now that just kind of left a blank to give you just a sort of a blank slate and I'm gonna walk you through how my menu works. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on customize or if you don't have this customize button, you got the customize icon there, the two little lines with the circles, that customize button. And then you have three options. You can turn on bookmarks, create and tools. So I'm gonna start with tools because that's what most accounting professionals um, are searching and they kind of can't find with this new uh, with this new interface. So I go for tools and then I'm gonna click on the tools tab and then I get to pick which of the tools I want to see. So let's say I only wanna see, let's say reclassify, close books and notes. I turn everything off and I could change and put it in any order that I want to see it. Then I just save on that. And then the first thing I'm gonna see is the three tools that I'm used to seeing. If you wanna use all your tools, click on that button again, go into tools and just select everything. I wish there was a select all button there, but there isn't. And of course, you know, move this in whichever order you want. For example, a lot of accountants were looking for that new window icon. Let's bring it all the way to the top. And then we got reclassify and let's say we do close books. And then let's say that um, notes is a fourth one and then we'll keep those in there. So we'll click on save. And there you go. These are the most common tools that I might be searching for as an accountant. I can click on this little hamburger icon. Yes, that's what it's called. It's called a hamburger icon. And I can collapse that. I can just click on that, collapse and expand. Pretty sweet, easy, easy, easy. Okay, now if I go into uh, bookmarks here, I'm gonna see it has its own separate bookmarks menu. And I can create my bookmarks in there, but also I can have bookmarks inside of my menu. So right now I don't have any bookmarks. So if I turn this on and I turn on bookmarks and I go to bookmarks, there's no bookmarks set up. Now I can set them up from here. So I can say, okay, I want my dashboard and I want standard reports. And let's say I want to see budgets and then I want to see bank transactions, whatever. These are my, my bookmarks. Then I click on save. And then I'm going to see right here under tools, I'm going to see my four bookmarks. 
I can flip the order and see bookmarks in the top and tools in the bottom by clicking on the customize menu and then flipping the order like this. Easy peasy. We click on save. And also I could change, as I mentioned earlier, I could change the order of the bookmarks inside of that simply by clicking on customize, going into bookmarks and flipping the order. Let's say that bank transactions is the first thing that I all want to see. Leave it there as first and then I'll click on save. So super super great to use very flexible especially if you know how to use it the other thing is there's a create button here which you can use to create any type of transaction but also if you can create you can add a create button here in my menu so i can click here and enable create i could actually put create all the way to the top and let's say that the stuff that i'm usually creating all the time i'm just gonna unselect these things let's say the stuff that i'm creating is an expense a check and a bank deposit let's say these are the things that i'm always creating i just add journal entry there too and then i click on save so then i got the four things that i create the most so if that's the stuff that i do the most i can see it right there i don't have to click on create and then navigate towards it it will always be in my menu if i click on my menu again hides it if i click on it again it opens it if i click on the hamburger icon that opens and closes it pretty simple now if you have a right tool installed, which is a Chrome extension that you can install into um, QuickBooks Online, and you turn on this feature called Keyboard Shortcuts, okay? Here we have given you a whole bunch of uh, keyboard shortcuts, and you can see that there is one for the left navigation bar. So where where is it? Let's just go in here. It's right here. So Control Alt Left Arrow. So if I go back into uh, QuickBooks here and I hit Control Alt left arrow I can collapse that navigation bar that's me hitting the keyboard okay that's not me clicking on it that's if you see the cursor the cursor is here somewhere in search right so I'm going to leave the cursor up here and then hit the keyboard shortcut and I can collapse and expand if you're in a Mac you do Control Command left so I really like having that keyboard shortcut available and if you hit the right you collapse the right toolbar if you have right tool installed again you have to have right tool installed to be able to access those keyboard shortcuts. Now QuickBooks does have keyboard shortcuts installed. If you hit Control Alt question mark, you get all of the built-in QuickBooks shortcuts, but they haven't built in a shortcut for collapsing and expanding the left navigation bar. So I'll put a link in the description to installing right tools. Actually, a free there's a free version that includes the keyboard shortcuts. So I love that. I, that's probably one of my favorite things to do is to be able to collapse and expand that. Okay. So anyway, so that's how we um, create our, our custom uh, My Menu. Now, if I want to add more additional uh, uh, favorites to the bookmarks that are available in the database, I click on Customize, click on Bookmarks, and then I search whatever I want. So I want to search invoices and I want to search uh, bills or something like that. I can add that to the bookmarks, right? So then I just save that. And then in my bookmarks, I have bills in there and that takes me straight into the bill screen. Okay. I think the invoices they didn't take. Let's search that again. Invoices. There we go. Okay. And then we'll save that. Okay. And there's my invoices right there. Okay. But if I want to add something that's not on the database, I can navigate to that window. So for example, let's say I want to pull up a profit and loss report. Very typical. A report that I use all the time. I'm going to pull up my profit and loss. And then once I have the profit and loss in front of me, I go to bookmarks and then I click on bookmark current page. Okay. And then click on save. Now from my menu, I can't add bookmarks from here. I have to do it from this bookmarks menu, add it, and then it gets added in there. Let's say I want to do the same thing with the balance sheet. So I pull up the balance sheet and then from this bookmarks icon, I click on current bookmark, click on save. And then remember that everything you add in here, in my menu uh, it's going to add it under bookmarks so real time you're going to see them again and if you go into bookmarks and click on uh, edit you can change the order of in which these bookmarks show up and i click on save and then i go into bookmarks and then they come in as a different order if i go to my menu um, it follows the order so it's all it all matches i could also click on my menu edit go into bookmarks and change the order from here so i can either change it from this screen or the bookmark screen. If I click on dashboard, that will take me back into the home page. And I don't have a left navigation bar. I can't do the keyboard shortcut. It doesn't work. I have to click on my menu first 
for that menu to show up and then I can do uh, collapse and expand. The other uh, key element here is that most of the standard navigation stuff, the stuff that we're used to seeing in that black bar that I showed you when I switched back to the classic mode, it's here where it says my apps. I have to click on my apps to get this menu that's in here. And this menu is not customizable. So this menu with all the icons, that's what you see is what you get. And it comes in in the exact order that QuickBooks gives it to you. You can't click and drag and change. There's no settings button. Only thing you could do is upgrade any of these things to bookmarks. So if I click on that, that sends it to a bookmark. If I click on here and here, so I added these three to bookmarks. So when I go into bookmarks, these are now added as part of my bookmarks. So even if I have my dashboard showing and my apps menu is not showing, I go into bookmarks, I can see them in there. If I see my menu, I see them in my bookmarks. So I think that this, this my menu to me, it's the, the single most important uh, menu that uh, QuickBooks Online has if you are an accounting professional. So any of these tools should work. You can go reclassify, you can create a new window, which by the way, that's actually wrong. Uh, it's actually not a new window, it's a new tab. Um, so that's a different com concept altogether, right? Because that's uh, basically what this does is whatever screen you're uh, in, so let's say I'm in closed books, actually that's not a good example, but let's say I am in the reconcile screen and I click on new window, what it actually does is it duplicates the tab. So um, they just have a naming challenge with, uh, with this button, okay? Like it's, I love the function, okay, new window, it's great, uh, but it, it actually duplicates the current tab. So I wish it would say duplicate current tab, that way it's more understandable because new windows are different concept. New windows, when you right click on something, and then you click on open link in new window, and then it opens up a whole new window that's not part of the tab system with that. So like to me, that's the right terminology that it should use. So just keep in mind that right there under my menu um, and under tools, new window actually means duplicate tab. So anyway, if you're an accounting pro, hopefully, you know, this uh, helps uh, kind of soft them up, soft them up of some of the challenges that you've had with the new UI. And if you're not an accounting professional and you've been looking, you've been watching this, menu, this video, thank you. you know, hopefully you learned something interesting. I'll see you in the next one.